<laughs> My fresh cut is looking super fun. If that's on my new fade, he's dead. <laughs> Back into the world of Ninja Kamui, people. This episode of Foe, I think, right? Throw them foes up. Throw them foes up. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Still trying to get to 70k, so I appreciate it if you guys sub up. Let's see if this video can get by like, by like Ninja Kamui fam. Like, like 500. See, we get 500 likes. I would greatly appreciate it. If you guys are interested, man, full reactions are uploaded on the Patreon unedited. And if you, if you guys don't want to pay, just, 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 just hit the Twitch link. I stream basically every single day. But it's be here with us. Uh, I'm going to wait to send this message. Let's get into it. More hands will be thrown. It's time for more hands to be thrown. Oh, yeah. He called out his name directly, didn't he? Oh, is this... Is this some? Oh yeah, we we're solo now, huh? We like Akane and and yo, and we lost our Josh Gordon. I said Josh Gordon. Shit. Jesus Christ, Jim Gordon. Oh, hold on. Oh shit. Another runaway. Uh, yeah, exiled ninja. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, another exiled ninja, man. Damn. My boy got the what the fuck little baby ass run my boy Jim girl Jim Gordon got I think I got a I got a fucked up lower back my lower back fuck because he protects everyone from bad guys oh ain't that sweet no kid can't fucking draw I draw better <laughs> why they white in the picture <laughs> mm. oh what's the what's the news he got oh what the fuck damn jim oh man that work and he's been he's been stuck within work oh, bro. i mean i get what she's coming from too man wow oh fuck where how the fuck where the fuck how how did you <laughs> you call him ducky <laughs> Then I'll kill them all. <laughs> Moody, that's it. Nothing left to lose. Bro, don't think about that. Don't say that, man. Good thing on Ninja Conway. I'm gonna be honest though. And like I actually kind of went into it, you know, kinda hollow. In a sense of all, oh, I'm just here for like hand hands, you know, throwing hands. Yeah, it's an emotional driven story. It's a revenge story and shit like that. But you know, I like the inclusion of uh my boy Jim Gordon right now. Yeah, Jim Gordon is pretty cool. <laughs> Not her ass crazy. <laughs> is he gonna leave from the front front door? I ain't gonna lie, I might expect you to go out the window. Hello, what you were? Yeah. Oh, she was. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's why. That's why she stood ten toes. She was also a ninja. Okay. It would be so dope to see how that 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 happened though. The unfold between the two and the connection of the two. Like dedicate an entire episode to it. That'd be dope. Just to see the baddie again. Bro, to go and told your family. And in retrospect, he, with him, his thought process, he's like, oh, man, maybe that's what I should have done. I mean, I know he thought that, you know, obviously his regrets. <laughs> Depraved little man. What the fuck is this? The weird ass Akatsuki table, bro. With Steve Jobs at the head. <laughs> Yo. Yo, these are, that's, a, that's a squad of ugly niggas, bro. <laughs> we got Modoc, Steve Jobs. Who the, who the fuck is this? This is Eddie Murphy coming to America. And it, uh, this, oh, hold on. My fault. I was disrespecting. That's the swole woman. <sighs> What's your name? Hi. Ujiri. Dilly. Dilly. That Dilly. Dilly. Dilly is what I'm working with. Dilly. The fuck. You have your permission to share the details of your techniques. And she got the dread, the lock. It do sound like Hanji in it. Big D. That nigga name is B freaky ass boy. Freaky <laughs> with the high top. <laughs> my fresh cut is looking super fun. If that's on my new fade, he's dead. <laughs> yeah, this is the best fucking character. This is the best character. <laughs> no, don't be fucking with Big D like that, nigga. The hell. Oh. Oh shit. His technique works in order to eliminate it. Damn. I wish the music wasn't playing right now. 
Bro, last episode, I legit saw him strike the fear in your heart with the with like five words. A five word sentence. Say don't fuck up again, basically, and walked out and pissed your pants. Why he acting like he him or something? Did that shit just disappear off my screen? Dilly. 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 Oh, they actually sending that nigga up. The Reaper, the Shinigami after him, man. Test is complete. Damn. He ugly as shit. Oh my god. Damn. Holy shit. Fuck. This music is tough, dog. This music is tough. Oh, hold on. Graduation. Oh, it is the flashback. Is the girl? Yo. Art shall be passed down to each of you. So your secret art is passed down. You don't get to choose it. Oh my god, that nigga look like a demon, boy. A demon. Dang, this is just what I was talking about. And this is the this is Shinigami nigga too, huh? We ever and they uh, end up fighting and showing their secret art to each other. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, he's the one with the mask. I wonder. I wonder if that's. Jesus Christ, man! What the fuck? <laughs> Bro, a little slow on the trigger there, nigga. God damn! Why did he wait so long? He froze up, motherfucker. <laughs> Damn. Oh, mama. Okay, moms. Oh, fuck. Moms didn't go like that, though. Oh, shit. So this is them. Them them three. Man, we actually do get to see it. As soon as I mentioned it, we actually get the whole episode of it. Oh, she actually tried to kill herself all because of it. Oh, my God. And what's his name? Probably felt so betrayed. The Reaper Shinigami, I forgot his name, but like he probably felt so betrayed. Again, he he pulled up and was like, "Man, I see our bond is thicker than blood." You know what I'm saying? You know. And seeing them two kind of betray the code. Oh no, he been. I ain't gonna lie, I see. I, hey, the, the second I'm here too, I'm breaking the code too, nigga. I can't even. I can't even blame. And they fuck in the cave. That nigga's just in the cut in the shadows watching. <laughs> Imagine that was his his passed down hidden technique and shit. <laughs> And he used it to spy on his friends. <laughs> Fucking in a cave. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, for a split second, I actually thought his eyes were just gonna open up in the shadows. And Damn. How do you find them, though? I wonder how old they are. It, well, that was ninja training, wasn't it? I would assume they would be young. It's not like a, we don't know anything about the world like that, though. But like, I'm assuming if you go through training, you start out young, right? Maybe since they graduated, they're a little older, though. All right. That is him, bro. Oh, bro. He looks so good. Eddie Reed. About to ditch you? <laughs> Damn, man. This city is insane. What the fuck? Rain and wind that passed through. What? I'm about to tell you had to go underneath. Who are we thinking this is over the phone? Surely it has to be somebody we've we seen already, right? Oh, look at her. Damn. Beautiful baby. Oh, we already going in. It's time. Peekaboo, nigga. Bro, he is moving. What the fuck? Yeah, no, nah, this is tough. Holy shit. Yo, look at that shit. Just straight parkouring around here. Oh, my God. Oh, that's light work. That's light work for him. Oh, the sweat. Oh, does it? Really, dog? Some sweat? Are you serious? That has to be a rookie mistake. <laughs> Ain't no way ninjas out here. Let, let, you know what I'm saying? The fuck? No, nah, that is a crazy raven. Ow! Bro, you could have just politely said put down your gun, man. Why the fuck you had to turn my arm around like that? Oh, shit! Oh, fuck. It's time. Zai. Zai. Oh, that's how the episode is. I think 
I, you know what? I think this episode was pretty cool. It was weird at first. I think it's still like a little bit. It was a little, a little odd. And I think it was just like pacing or how like scenes kind of trend, like kind of, you know, flow. The way the scenes kind of flowed together was a little odd and and kind of weird. But uh, I think overall is good. Um, I think it, it it did a good job and kind of still showing focus on the side characters a little bit here. So it wasn't just a mindless brain dead revenge story kind of thing. Um, which, which is, which is good, which is good, which is the feeling I kind of got from the first episode anyway. There was like so much focus on he, he gone and his family and what he's kind of, he, you know, he's kind of created here and stuff like that and the shit that he values and stuff. Um, so, I mean, I think they kind of transferred that a, a little bit of heart into this episode, which is dope. So now it's leading up to the he gone versus Zai fight, which I kind of expected to be at the finale, which very much could be finale. I think this might be just like their one of potential multiple altercations going on and shit which is a uh, which is dope i think now next episode we'll see a little bit of zai's perspective and how he kind of felt after they left which i'm assuming is betrayal he felt betrayed he felt left alone lost and shit um which based on that like flashback is pretty reasonable response let me know your thoughts down in the comment section i'm glad you guys felt about this episode I'll catch you guys next week and yeah